Oh, this is gonna take a while, isn't it? <laughs> this is gonna take a little bit of time. A couple more potions, too. How about that? Let's go all berserky. Where's he at? Ow. What a piece of crap. Oh, now I'm all really? I'm all slow. Alright, let's take another health potion if we can. Yes, we can. Go ahead and take that. Get back up to, uh... Get back up to par. Now he's disappeared again. I don't know which does which. This is gonna take a while. Wow, I need a health potion already. Am I poisoned? Yes, I am. And that's gonna get me killed, isn't it? Oh, he was hitting me with something. What if I, like... Oh, he's trying to follow me, too. I'm just gonna book it. I'm just gonna book it until I can hopefully heal myself. <laughs> Let's see. Can I, can I heal my... I can. Alright. Here we go. Back for... Back for another round. Where's he at? There he is. He's back. Damn, man, he, he hits pretty hard. He does. I'm never going to be able to do this. Well, when we come back, hopefully we'll be able to do this next time. If the game doesn't spawn people behind me and get my healer killed. Alright, so even though Anders died on my second attempt, I was able to get to the back and uh, pretty much take on most of the enemies and uh, save Isabella and Aveline from dying. However, even though that happened, and even though, you know, I was doing my best, Isabella managed to glitch herself and isn't helping me and Aveline fight. So, anyway, Isabella's stuck over there and moving, which I could probably just do that. And go ahead and do that. But I didn't care. I didn't care. And now I need to heal, and he's dead. So it doesn't even matter. No harm, no foul. Nothing happened. That wasn't your place, Hawk. Oh, shut up. I don't have the patience for that type. My guardsmen will be waiting in the barracks. Who cares? Dude was an ass. Just loot all these random street thugs. This random chest with the uh, hands of glory. My inventory is full. Cool. And someone leveled up. Who leveled up? Isabella leveled up. Check her, uh, let's check her attributes. Actually, you know, we're towards the end of the game. I really don't give a shit about cunning anymore, so I'm just not to level up. I, I imagine we're near the end of the game, and I imagine that she's probably not going to level up another three times for her to open up the next set of chests. And even if she does, and we're not as close to the end of the game as I think, I really don't care anymore. So there you go. We're done with that. <clears throat> now I need to check the inventory. Go to the junk and destroy some of this garbage so I can take, uh, take these hands of glory and then we'll see, uh, what these hands of glory are looking like. I can't even use them. Oh, they're for, uh, someone with dexterity and I am a warrior and therefore do not, whoa, that guy had some stuff too. The hell did he just drop? The heck is new here? He had a shield. Cornerstone. 94 attack, 21 armor. I don't like that. Immunity to knockback. I think I'll be selling that. I like the shield I got on now. So pretty much, as for what we have left to do, return to the barracks and talk to Aveline. So we have to do that. And then we can get rid of Aveline and bring Varric back into the party random plant just growing there. Once we go to the barracks and talk to Aveline, because she's stupid, and we helped her out and she still gets mad at us, which it doesn't matter, because I don't like her that much anyway, we'll go to the barracks, up at the Viscount, the Viscount's keep. We'll go ahead and talk to her and listen to her complain and bitch and get mad at us again for little to no good reason. And we'll move on from there. And we'll probably jump into that other quest. I think it's like the last one that remains for the, the main quest. That one. The 
let's go up here and I don't even know. I think our barracks are. You're right. Oh yeah. About knowing who you are. Oh, shut up, Aveline. It wasn't your place. Champion or not, this was my concern, not yours. I do what you can't, and you've taken advantage more than once. I'm the captain. The guards need to see me lead. Never again. Do you hear me? Never. Captain, we're waiting for orders. Will you accept them? May I speak freely? There isn't a man or woman here who wouldn't follow you through the void. Captain. I'll take it. Get out, Hawk. My guardsmen need me. <sighs> this is why I don't have Aveline in my party. Like, right now she's in my party. But that's not because of choice. Don't and Duh. Anders is injured, so... My face. There you go. He's fine. That is not due to choice. That is due to the game forcing me. Because if I had it my way, she wouldn't be in my fucking party. She'd be out on the street doing whatever she needed to do. Is there a choose your party thing here? Yes? No? Yeah, there it is. I walked up to the Templar like he was gonna help me. Nope. Get the fuck out of my party, Abilene, and we're taking Varric. At least I like Varric. Varric's a pretty good guy. Now we have to go here. We have to uh, hit up the barracks for best served cold. Best served cold. Past tense, I guess. Oh, it wouldn't be past tense, it's a verb. Served. Or is it? Is it a verb in that case? You're not serving anyone. I'm just saying that that drink is best served cold. Whatever, it doesn't matter. It's got an ED on it. It's past tense to me, even though it's not past tense, but... <clears throat> We're not here to argue that. We're here to do this stupid quest. I have to jump back into the, what, Templar headquarters and... can yell at Meredith because she's a dumb bitch. I hate her. Rather side with the mages, but... We'll do whatever. I don't care. I'd just like to work on getting towards the end of this game. So let's go up here and talk to uh, old What's-Her-Face. I'm sure it's going to be her, and I'm sure she's going to be grumpy. Oh no, it's Orsino. Thank you for coming, Champion. Few will associate with me now that I am the focus of Meredith's ire. Which leaves me in a difficult position. She is not entirely wrong. Inform the Criers. A miracle has occurred. I know some of my people are using dangerous means to oppose her. But I cannot seek the Templar's aid without making every mage a target. You need some assistance against traitors in your ranks. Traitors? Perhaps. Rebels? Certainly. I don't know if they seek Congress with demons or merely a walk in the moonlight. All I know is that a meeting is happening tonight in Hightown. I would go myself, but should I leave the tower without permission, Meredith would call it proof of my involvement. I'll see what they're up to. There's no point in involving the Templars. Thank you. Your support has been a lifeline for me. For all of us. Just learn the nature of this meeting. You needn't interrupt unless you find proof of something sinister. I pray not. Or Meredith will have what she needs to justify the right of annulment. the hell achievement did I just get? Let's see what this is all about. Let's see what all this achievement getting is. What the hell did we just get? Earn the friendship or rivalry of four party members. That was probably Anders. Anders is probably that fourth one. Which I'm sure I have friendship all the way up with Varric, who needs to be leveled up. Speaking of Varric. I'm sure his friendship's all the way up. Anders' friendship's all the way up. Her friendship is all the way up, and I imagine that Meryl's rivalry is probably all the way up. I don't think I don't think Aveline would be fully rival with us. 
I think Meryl is. 